Welcome, welcome to Vlogmas Day... Day... Oh, what are you? 14. I thought it was 13. Vlogmas Day 14. How are you guys? Yolanda has no eyebrows. That means only one thing. It's work day. And you see it's light outside. That means I have downtime. So I had 45 minutes, now I have like 30 minutes before my next client shows up. So I thought I'll come here and make a video. Because at 2 p.m. a whole show happens. I have two dogs, two small dogs, full grooms. There are two Bichons at 2 p.m. Then at 4 p.m. I have a D-shed for 30 I have a D-shirt with furnishings, it's a Sheltie. And then 5 o'clock, I have a full groom doodle. How did that happen? Anyways, but Jelani said he will be more than ha happy to help me. So, I do have a little bit of a happy mail. It came in yesterday. I wanted to open it yesterday, but I got off work at, what was it, 9.19? I remember I looked at the clock when I walked through the door was 9 19 p.m. so I just didn't have it in me I showered and I passed out so I took some medications I feel much better today my lungs seems like the if I talk a lot more my lungs act up but other than that I don't feel fever at all here I have dry skin now since I take since I take the diabetic medications, it seems like it dries out my skin like crazy. I put lotions and I need to buy one of those bottles that motivate you to drink more water. Because I forget to drink water. So I probably should do that. Maybe that will help with my skin. Before I was diagnosed with diabetes, my skin was always oily. That was my problem. My skin was always oily. Now it's the opposite. Anyways, like I mentioned, I had the Happy Mail. And it came all the way from Lithuania from my aunt. Uh, she is a knitter. She can crochet. She loves crocheting doilies. And uh, what do you call the drapes that you put on your table? Like the, the pretty ones. So she crochets them for like big tables. It's gorgeous. Um, and she knits. So her socks are amazing. I never appreciated her slippers and socks as much as I appreciate now. Because before I used to live in the apartments and the floors were always warm. And when I did live in a house, it was a newer house and the floors were warm during winter. But here, the floors are freezing winter time freezing floors so um she sent me a couple pairs as a gift for my um wedding she put other stuff in there but she also sent me and jelani some socks and those slippers i wear those so i wear these slippers i have a pair of those crochet slippers for bed time i have two pairs for the house and I have one pair for work so for work I put um, my socks on if it's really cold I'll put her knitted wool socks and I'll put the slippers on and then I'll put all that in Crocs my feet are so 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 warm I love these love these I wear them all the time so they're on me at all times. And I said, um, Auntie, you have to knit me enough of those slippers to last me the rest of my life. She was laughing. She said, what? So I'm supposed to knit only for you? I said, no, I'm just joking. But whenever you feel like you need to send me gifts, please just send me those uh, slippers. So anyways... So here is the package I got from her. 
I love that color. It looks so pretty. And I did ask her to knit the same slippers to my friend and my one client. Um, I think I told you guys about it. Um, who brought me all the yarn. And so let's see. Oh my goodness. She packed everything individually. Her knitted work is beyond amazing. What time is it? 117. Okay, I still have like 40 minutes. Her work is amazing. Look how pretty. The color is more purplish. Oh. A little bit more darker purple in um, reality. It's close though. Look at that beautiful... Look how gorgeous it is. Like, she does amazing work. And I mean amazing. Look how perfect the heel is. She promised that um, when I go to Lithuania, she will knit me. She will teach me how to knit socks. She said she made extra for me too. So it's not just for my friend and my client. It's also one um, somewhere for me. So that size, I don't know which ones. I need to ask her because that size is good enough for me too. Oh, these are pretty. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. So I did bought her a lot of yarn, so I'm not sure I want to ask her if this is a yarn that she used was, uh, oh, she put a size on 41, so that's for me or my friend. I think that's for me. Oops. She had size on. It's so squishy, so soft. I want to ask her um, which ones are for me which ones are for my friends. So these are same type, just in white. Um, oh gosh, so beautiful. Like so, so beautiful. This is a different design. See how beautiful that is? I want to get to the socks. Because that's my magic. Oh, I'm pretty sure these are for Jelani. The green ones. Jelani loves wearing socks. Summer or winter. No, these are for... I don't know. What are these for? I don't know. It's size 41. It's my size. Really pretty. Here we go. Finally getting to the socks. To the yeah slippers slippers sorry ah look at this like the the thing is stuck on me Do you, does not go away what a uh, static there we go I got some static going on look look at these she's such a pro at knitting and she's so fast to look how tight it is that's hand knitted I want to, I need to learn how to make these type of heels because they're very uh, sturdy. So that is a one pair. That is another pair. Oh, these bags are getting stuck on me. Oh, that is so pretty. So I sent her uh, Rockabilly. Uh, I think these are for my friend. It's 39. Um, uh, Rockabilly. And a bunch of other yarn that I bought at Ice Yarns. So she went around with Rockabilly. I love the shine that it gives. These are so soft. I wonder if she used the yarn that I bought or she had it. Oh my gosh. It's so soft and so sturdy too. Look how, and she looks like she does control the colorway. She does color control, I think. Cause see how, 
Um, both tops have kind of same, and then they go green. She's amazing. Like, she knits so well. Oh, these are pretty. That should be probably nicer at opening. I can just repack it. Oh, these are pretty. She used uh, another... No, that was not Rock of the Lee. That's another yarn that I sent her. It has glitter on it. It's really, really, really pretty. That's 41. Really pretty. So many. Wow. She was busy. I did not expect her to send me this many. Oh, <gasps> no. Look at this color. I don't know if you guys are interested, but I love this. Look at all that sparkle. Do I see any sparkle? It has this one thread in here that it has a lot of sparkle. I really, really want to go to Lithuania and ask her to teach me how to make these. I really, really, really do. I really want to learn how to do these. These socks, these are pretty. Same design, just different color. Oh. I'm telling you, like the slippers she makes, I wish I could knit. I can knit, but I cannot knit the heels. The heels is where the difficulty is. I think this one it has a little bit different different design. No, same one. Look how pretty these are. Some of them have uh, no high cuff, and some of them have um, higher cuff. I love higher cuff um, just because it keeps me warm. Like the ones that I take to work, I love the higher cuff. Yep. That, these are for me. Mm. Thank you, Auntie Rasa. I need to send her this video. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I'm just ripping it all open. <laughs> I'm making a mess in here. It's another pair. Look how pretty. Like she really color controls this. There was another one just like this, kind of similar. And one more, I think this is the socks. Okay, this is the socks. I guess that's for Jelani because it's darker color. So, I'm very excited. I got so many slippers. Well, quite a few of them are for my friend and for the lady. Um, one of the pair of socks should be for my client. I love it. Love it. She needs to teach me how to uh, knit these. So, um, something happened today at work. Well, that had me thinking, and I thought I wanted to share the story. Just in case some of you are also, you know, from different country. And um, so this one lady came in, and we were chit chatting, and she asked, How, you know, did you feel when you moved here and stuff? You know, were people mean to you because you had an accent, whatever? You know, <clears throat> so that whole deal, that talking. It reminded me, so when all my life I lived, so I lived in Connecticut, and then um, I lived here in Illinois, not here, in Illinois, in Chicagoland, where you have a bunch of immigrants, right? So um, there are a-holes everywhere, which, you know, it doesn't bother me. I'm here, you know, my parents want green cards, so I have a green card, I'm legally here. So if the government lets me, my opinion on live wherever you want in the world, as long as, as you respect that country's culture, that country's rules and laws. Don't be going 
go moving to a country and starting oh you must learn my language because like don't be an a-hole that country lets you move there they give you opportunities to work and do better for yourself like that's my opinion um i have a huge respect you know so american government government let us move here they gave us the right hey live here pay taxes you know you're legally here so that's all i care about so when people are rude to me about like oh i never had anyone tell me um go where you came from uh but i've had like you know smirks or whatever and I never care, like I said, government lets me live here, that's all I care about. There's a-holes everywhere. There's gonna to be somebody who's gonna be mean to you about something at some point, right? So, but, saying that, when we moved here to Indiana, and it's very rural area, it's closer to Kentucky border, very close to Kentucky border. Um, we are probably about 45 minutes away from Louisville, Kentucky. So, when we moved here, I was a little bit concerned that my business will not take off because I do have an accent and, um, uh, people may not take very well that I'm not from here and that I have an accent. I was welcomed so well. We had neighbors bringing us cookies and everything. Like, I love where I live. Like, people are so nice. Uh, saying that, uh, there was... <laughs> so, I had this lady. She sounded maybe she was in her 80s, 70s. And, you know, she was asking to make an appointment for her dog. And then she goes, where are you from? And I said, well, I'm in Bic Bicknell, Indiana. You know, in, I'm in Bicknell. And she goes, yeah, that, that works. That works. That's about, you know, 15 minutes away from me. That works. But where are you from from? <laughs> and I'm like, well, um... I lived most of my life in Illinois, but I grew up in Connecticut. She's like, no, no, I hear something. I'm like, oh, you mean my accent? Um, I said, well, I was born in Europe, so I am European. I'm Lithuanian. She literally goes, well, that not that is not going to work for me. Click. Oh, <laughs> I laughed so hard. My husband was like, oh my God, are you okay? You know, just don't pay attention. I'm like, I think it's hilarious. I, I thought that was funny, you know. And uh, older people have their ways, you know. Um, if they never, especially if they never travel, their mind is set. Like my parents have their you know we all have bad and good in us but so i don't hold anything against that lady i just thought it was hilarious the way like everything was fine and then when she realized i have an accent her tone of voice changed and then she's like well that not that's not gonna work for me click <laughs> oh so if you're from another country and you have to deal some and if you when you move to america or any other country if you move to any other country and you had to adjust to their culture and stuff like did you have experiences where like people were kind of a-hole and did you laugh it off or you take it personally i don't take it personal like i said the government said i can live here so I pay my taxes. I'm a good person. I do my best that I can, you know. But, anyways, I blabbed a long, uh, long enough. I hope you enjoyed my happy mail. Um, so I will see you guys. Uh, I will see you guys after work, because no matter how tired I am, how sick I am, 
I keep my word we doing those giveaways even though I am sick in bed today will be a long day I gotta go I'm going to grab some veggies gotta get something in me oh, excuse me so I will see you guys in the evening after work I probably will sound half dead so it was good seeing you bye everybody